Hello, I'm Omar Fernandez, Director of Strategy and Operations at GitLab. And today I'm here with Gervin. Gervin, can you tell us a little bit more about what you do for work? Uh, hi, yes, thank you. I, um, I'm a uh, tech lead in a uh, cybersecurity organization, and uh, my role is to uh, guide the team to make the best uh, technical decisions. Tell us a little bit about your history with GitLab. Um, how did you first learn about GitLab? What were you looking for at the moment? Um, yeah, so uh, it's been a while ago. I actually started using GitLab very early on in the process. Uh, I've worked for different organizations, uh, and, and, and every time there was always a need for um, yeah, either a self-hosted Git platform uh, and GitLab almost always fit the bill. And um, most particularly, we started using it in different projects because of the CI CD capabilities. What was the current state of affairs in, at work and how did things start changing as you started using GitLab? Um, yeah, so most projects I started on usually had a very rigid um, system in place beforehand. Um, it would always be a project that, um, that we could use something refreshing on. What was that need that you were like trying to fulfill. The gap that GitLab fills for us was the uh, sort of a developer freedom, right? So you, it's developer focused. So you, you can, as a developer, you're not hindered by, by the tool set and by the, by the restrictions it, it places upon you. And, and how does that feel for you? Like, tell me about, like, if you're forced to not use GitLab, how do you personally feel? Right. So when I don't have GitLab available to us in the project or in the company, I, I feel restricted. GitLab allows you to um, not have a false sense of progress in a project. Give me an example of something that's either tedious or boring or annoying without GitLab and how it changes when you use GitLab. Yeah, so one particular example, I was in an organization and they each had their own departments responsible for it. They each had their own restrictions set up on them. So in order for, for us to get anything into production, it could take up to two days to just deploy the code and get everything approved. When you end up with GitLab, the flow, of course, became almost instant because you you know, you know upload the, uh, the pipeline manifest and there you go. Are there particular features within GitLab that get people comfortable with with this? The really, for me, the power feature is, is the CI CD integration. It allows for fast deployment, fast integration. It allows for fast checks. So in projects where, for example, there's no static analysis yet, uh, GitLab, for me, unifies that all in the same place. So everyone is looking at the same code in the same direction with the same quality level. Tell me about how you feel when you're using GitLab or your transition from legacy tool processes into GitLab. No, I feel excited about it because because you know, you can get started, stuff can get moving, stuff can get automated, you're no longer stuck. You know, it's always clear who's doing what, when it happens, you know, even if something goes wrong, you it's always super, super clear. Can you think of other ways in which maybe you've personally benefited from the adoption of GitLab or advocating for GitLab? Yeah, so personally I've always benefited in the sense that um, it allows me to focus on the actual uh, organizational questions, right? So I'm, I'm a troubleshooter and GitLab just takes away the guesswork and allows me to focus on the actual issues that are there. Do you think that using or advocating for GitLab has benefits in your career? Yeah, if I benefited indirectly because I because I got to focus on actually solving issues, you know, you know my, my work would be desirable for, for future uh, career opportunities. Are there other techniques or tactics that you use that kind of like, you know, make the process more fun and interesting. It's a creeping scope of improvement where every day you push for, for, for getting the button to green and then after it pushes for a green pipeline, you have a green, you know, everything's green. You're no longer going to accept any less than that. And the next morning you start increasing the bar again. It makes the teams more enjoyable because, um, you know, so, so some teams get stuck in the situation where they are quabbling between, hey, you broke the pipeline or you broke the build or you broke production. And it, it shifts it to a positive stance where you go from, you know, who broke it to, hey, guys, look, I improved it. If you have even five minutes at the end of the day to improve the existing situation, that, that's going to, you know, you're going to send people home with feeling better about themselves about the, at the end of the day. Do you have any other examples of something that because we do this, I feel better or the team feels better that I really enjoy about, you know, my work when I'm using GitLab? In projects where we have direct customer interactions, we like to also use GitLab because uh, GitLab give you a more direct mode of communication. You can say, okay, we fixed this issue with this particular line of code at that particular point in time. And it gives a, it, it takes away so much uh, intermediate layers from communication with customers where, you know, it might go to an account manager or it might go through someone who might not understand the full context of things. It, it keeps everything in context. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time today. Girl. Sure, no problem.